Melissa Luck in our newsroom with the results from Washington Initiatives. Melissa? Yeah, there were three important initiative, three important initiatives before Washington voters this election, and the first could have put the brakes on Spokane's brand new red light camera system. That was Initiative 985, the Tim Iman measure, and tonight it is failing tonight, 60 to 40 percent the numbers at this point. This measure would have required the state to use money gained from traffic fines, such as the red light cameras, on easing transportation congestion, specifically in the Seattle area. Again, they're calling this tonight. Uh, this measure has failed by a margin of 60 percent to 40 percent. On to Initiative 1000. This is the assisted suicide measure, which would allow doctors to pres prescribe lethal medications to those who are terminally ill. This measure has passed. This measure leading right now by a margin um, that we saw there. We actually moved past that, but again, they have declared that Initiative 1000 uh, has passed in Washington. Finally, Initiative 1025, or 1029 rather, has also passed at this hour. Overwhelming margin, 75% to 25%. This requires long-term care workers to be certified in the state of Washington. There are still tens of thousands of ballots, though. We'll say this all night that still need to be counted. But again, that is the news from the initiatives in the state of Washington. Dave?